There are a lot of factors that make up what draws someone to a city, and you can't talk about the DNA of a city without talking about its food scene. With Conroe's continued growth, there are new restaurants being added to the landscape daily, but which ones stand out above the rest? Stick around and find out. What's up everyone, it's Jeff with Jeff West Properties, your host for the Conroe Living Channel, where we identify and celebrate everything that makes Conroe, Texas one of the fastest growing cities in America, as well as being one of the best places in the nation to live. Food has been at the center of society since the dawn of man, since we were hunting with rocks and sticks and the community gathered around a fire to share in the roasted pterodactyl or whatever they ate back then. Food and society still go hand in hand today. So for the sake of my top five restaurants video, I enlisted the help of my community, the I Love Conroe Facebook group with over 60,000 people asking them the question, what's your favorite place in town? If you're from Conroe or thinking about moving to the area, this is a group you definitely want to join. You can learn a lot about the city, and believe me, if you have a question, you will not be short of opinions. A couple of things about this list. Number one, you're not going to find any chain restaurants mentioned. Some chain restaurants are great, but they don't represent a city. I'm not going to invite someone in from out of town and say, hey, you're in for a treat tonight. We're going to Applebee's. Right? Nothing wrong with Applebee's. Love me some Bourbon Street steak, but... We're talking about the places you can only get in the city of Conroe, Texas. Another thing to note, there's no Mexican restaurants on this list, and that may be surprising. And it's not because we don't have great Mexican food here. It's because we have so many great Mexican restaurants that trying to choose one to represent the list would be like trying to choose your favorite child. So I'm going to have a separate video at a different time talking about all the great Mexican food here. There's actually a ton of diversity in the food scene in Conroe, but because this is only a top five list, I just went with the highest vote getters. So in alphabetical order, here are my top five restaurants in the city of Conroe, Texas. We find our first restaurant on the southern shore of Lake Conroe. Best way to describe it is like when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. That's Amore. I don't have a script writer. It's not going to get much better than this. When I came in, I was greeted at the door by manager Jenny McCann and owner Dr. Alfred Lamani, doing what I'm told was his signature move. Hey, mine's a robot. With his wife and the help of their good friends, the Bazans, the Lamani started the original Amore in a small strip center in the Walden neighborhood, which they quickly outgrew and moved to the current facility on Highway 105 with more seating and beautiful lake views. I mean, most days it's beautiful. Today it was kind of gross. Amore has several dining options to choose from. The central dining room is in the heart of the restaurant and offers both table and red leather backed booths. Try saying that five times fast. For more privacy during that romantic date. For a smaller, more intimate experience, there's the side dining room, great for private parties with views of the lake. Or dine in the piano lounge by a roaring fire. In the kitchen, we find the staff hard at work getting ready for the next meal service. Chef David is preparing one of their signature dishes, the seafood pasta. At Amore, everything is made by hand, including the pasta, which they make with their two different pasta machines. My pasta making skills consist of opening the can. So chef boy are my expectations raised at this place. Like I said, it's not getting much better. Before I sit down to eat, I head to the bar where the mixologist is working up an old-fashioned. I make my old-fashions the old-fashioned way, and by that I mean I get someone else to make it for me. He's definitely better at this than I am.
last case of emotion! So with Old Fashioned in hand, I head to the dining room. I'm trying to do keto right now, so instead of pasta, I opted for the rack of lamb, and oh my lord, it was amazing. It was so good, in fact, that I went back and invited two friends to introduce them to the place this past weekend. Whether it's a romantic date night or just a Tuesday, go see Jenny and Alfred. Tell them Jeff sent you. It probably won't do anything for you, but I love getting credit for things. Next on the list, ask any Conronian to name the restaurant where they feel the most welcome every time they walk through the door, and most likely they'll mention our next restaurant, Joe's Italian. Owner and Conroe icon Joe Halidi is just as much a part of the experience of this place as the food is. The exterior of the restaurant is a love letter to the city of Conroe. The organizations that he supports through fundraisers and community activities are painted all over the walls. Joe's a big supporter of local first responders and our military and veterans organizations. The other side of the building pays homage to Conroe's history with a heritage museum, the Conroe Tower, and the rail yard. There's the man himself, hard at work. When I asked him how he's able to balance all of his responsibilities at the restaurant with all of his other community activities, he basically said sleep's overrated. Fittingly, he's working beneath the mural of good friend and fellow restaurateur Buster Bowers, who I'm going to be talking about later in the video. There's even a mural of country superstar and Conroe native Parker McCollum, who's a frequent guest at Joe's. If the exterior is a love letter to the community, then walk through the front door and you'll see the community's love given right back to him. Joe's been honored and recognized by local organizations, the Texas State Senate, and even the White House. In fact, December 8th has been officially declared Joe Halidi Day in the city of Conroe. Can we get off work for that? I was going to list off all the recognitions, but we haven't even gotten the food yet, so here's a snapshot of all the honors and support that he's been given. With all his accolades taking up all that real estate, it's amazing there's any room left for a bar. But they've got one, and it's well stocked with a wide selection of wines and beers. Enter the dining room and you'll feel like you stepped out of Conroe and into an Italian vacation. Vespa's not included. I got there before it opened so I could get footage without being in anyone's way because once the doors open, this place stays packed. They come hungry for Joe's homemade pizzas and other Italian staples. Back in the kitchen, the staff prepares to meet the huge demand. There's pizza ovens. And the rolls, just like everything else here, are made in-house. Joe's is a family business. Here's general manager and chef Nick Halidi, Joe's brother. Joe really does need to sleep sometimes, and he told me that he knows that with Nick running the restaurant, it's always going to be in good hands. With all the ingredients laid out, he gets to work making veal veneta. Everything at Joe's is fire which means really good for those of you who don't speak millennial. So for a little taste of Italy, as well as a big dose of Conroe, eat a Joe's. Getting the right aerial shots with a drone can be pretty tricky sometimes, so I enlisted the help of a good friend, Texas A&M offensive lineman, Josh Bankhead. If I wasn't getting the shot I wanted because buildings were blocking the view, he would just pick them up and move them. He's very strong. Next on the list, Pacific Yard House. When you walk through the door, you're greeted by a chandelier made of deer antlers, or a chandel deer as they call it. Or at least they should call it that. 
As with many of the historic buildings in downtown Conroe, Yard House repurposed the building while still maintaining much of its historic charm. There's a lot of exposed brick, weathered stucco, and exposed ductwork. Operation Manager Teak Daniel wanted to create a space where people could feel like they were taking a three-hour vacation from daily life. And what vacation would be complete without your favorite frosty cold beverage? Yard House is part restaurant, part sports bar, with big screens all around the restaurant as well as autographed memorabilia by some of your favorite local sports stars, as well as some of your favorite ultra-local sports stars. You've got everything you need for your favorite mixed drink, as well as beer, both bottled and on tap. I counted somewhere between 25 and 300 because I'm really bad at math. Oh, and they've got a front of house pizza oven where you can watch your pizza being prepared. I'm doing my best to be on keto, so I opted for the keto pepperoni pizza with a broccoli cheese crust. Because I wanted to highlight the food and not just my dietary restriction, I also ordered their barbecue pizza with pulled pork because Teak said it was their most popular. As he was explaining the keto crust to me, I found out that he also brought out one of their most popular items, the spicy chicken and shrimp pasta. Then he brought out even more food, the black and red fish with shrimp creole sauce, fried shrimp, and the barbecued ribs. There was no way I was gonna eat all this, so we gave it to some of the regulars who were there. And there was much rejoicing. Yay! Did I say it was part restaurant, part sports bar? I forgot to mention the third part, live music venue. Pacific Yard House is one of the best places to hear live music in Conroe, a town that's becoming more known for its live music scene. So the next time you need a three hour vacation, you know where to go. Tell them Jeff sent you. And they'll say, who? In a blink and you missed it strip center on 105 across from April Sound, you'll find the next restaurant on the list. And this one's definitely a hidden gem. Tony's Italian Deli. Inside, you'll find what you typically find inside an Italian deli. Autographed pictures of some of the most famous Italian-American actors. Pacino? De Niro? If you know who this is, tell me in the comments. Tony Soprano himself. You've got Rocky, Vinny Barbarino, and of course, George Burns, who I'm pretty sure is an Italian. What you won't find in most Italian delis are the awards and reviews that Tony's has. It consistently has some of the highest reviews, not just in the area, but in the entire nation. In fact, it was the number one rated restaurant in the nation by Yelp users. Not even New York delis in New York can say that. I got there right when it opened before the crowds gathered so I could get a good look at the place without getting in anyone's way. It didn't take long for the crowds to gather. The crazy thing is there is probably more takeout orders than there is dine-in, so the staff is always busy. Behind the deli case, you can see what you'll soon be eating with some of the finest Italian meats and cheeses. You'll also see house-made desserts. Put there as a reminder not to fill up too much and leave some room, because before you leave, you may want to. Take the cannoli. The sandwiches are named after those famous Italian-American actors. You've got the Sinatra, the Tony Danza, the Danny DeVito, the Leonardo DiCaprio, and the Beef Melt. I'm not sure what movie he was in. You can also scan their underground menu where you'll find sandwiches created by some of the regulars. They leave them in the super secret menu instead of putting them up on the wall because, you know, people may ask what movies they were in. I went with a classic meatball sub because, well, keto is hard. Don't judge me.
And there you have it, a meatball sub that he labeled MS for my sandwich. My sandwich. My sandwich. My sandwich. When owner Lori Hutchison bought the place, her grandkids drew some artwork on some paper plates, and being the proud grandparents she was, she displayed them. Well, the idea caught on, and pretty soon, hungry patrons, young and old, were adorning the walls with local artwork. They've got a lot of fans. So the next time you're trying to pick out a place that you know everyone will enjoy, just go to Tony's Italian Deli and forget about it. Yeah, I pretty much sounded like Hugh Grant saying that. Quick, where can you find some of the best catfish, not just in Conroe, but in the entire state? That would be Vernon's Country Catfish. They've been perfecting southern cooking since 1984. Being this close to the lake, the walls are covered in trophy fish, as well as trophy athletes. Here's Conroe legend and former heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Harris. You'll find the high school football jersey of another Conroe legend at the front door, second generation owner, Buster Bowers, who sadly passed away in 2019. But his legacy of great food, hospitality, and giving back to the community lives on. Buster was a big supporter of local 4-H, as well as a supporter and sponsor of Little League Baseball in Conroe. He also gave to causes for our local veterans who've given so much for us and our freedoms. He loved his community, and the community loved him back. And boy, do they love the food. Speaking of the food, let's see what's cooking. Kitchen manager Cindy invited me back to witness the preparation before the lunch rush. They make everything in-house, from the daily soups to the gravy. From the pies to the fries to the daily special, which today is smoked pork loin. And of course, every respectable Southern restaurant has got to have potato salad. Having totally given up on my keto diet, I was kind of hoping that this was just a single serving. But, alas, the real serving size is a little bit smaller. But that's okay. There's a lot more food to come. As with the other restaurants, I got there early so I could stay out of people's way and also get the best seat in the house to view the lunch rush. Vernon's is a great meetup spot for a few friends to get together. Or a few more friends. Or a lot more friends. You get it. As the restaurant started to fill up, I thought it was about time to go ahead and order. Luckily, I didn't even have to look at the menu. I just looked over at those guys' table and cheated off of them. And the decision? Vernon's world-famous chicken fried steak. In Texas, people are serious about their chicken fried steak. And Vernon's has one of the best I've ever had in my life. Of course, you can't come to a place with catfish in the name and not get the catfish. So I ordered it to go. Oh, um, and a pie. Because, well, pie. Plus, I don't think my doctor subscribes to my YouTube channel. If you come, make sure to show your Conroe pride by picking up some of Vernon's merch, as well as their famous tomato relish and jams. Vernon's Country Catfish is my jam. That means I like it a lot for those who don't speak millennial. So would your list be different? Are there any that I left out? Any that I shouldn't have put in? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you're researching the area, trying to decide whether Conroe or the greater Houston area is a good fit for you and your family, reach out to me. I'd love to be able to answer any questions you have and help. I'm a relocation specialist who helps people from all over America relocate to the Conroe and greater Houston area. And if you'd like to learn more about one of the fastest growing cities in America, Conroe, Texas, make sure to subscribe to the Conroe Living Channel or check out some of these videos.